So, this is my January Mission Inspiration for 2019. Um, Mike's kind of changed it up a little bit this year. Instead of having steps, we've got ingredients. Um, and I think this might make it a bit easier for me. Um, for instance, today, I'm not going to start with number one. I'm going to start with number eight. Add journaling or handwritten text. So, I'm going to grab my, this is a Uniball Micro, Uniball Eye Micro, it's a Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi pen and it's waterproof. Um, I'm just going to sort of do some really scribbly Not even got anything in mind. I'm literally just skipping. I did there, but um, yeah. So I'm just making it look like I'm trying to write something. But there we go, that's that done. And then we're going to move on to the second step, which is to add old map fragments. Um, this is a map of somewhere in Germany that I just bought from a little kit that someone had put together, a sort of crafting scraps kit. I assume it's Germany, I don't really. Or might not be actually. I don't know. It's foreign language anyway. Which will make it a little more interesting. And I'm going to try this Elmer's glue. I've never used this before. Ooh, getting messages. <laughs> Facebook. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit on. I'm using today is eight by eight piece of cartridge paper. Um, it's a hundred pounds or two hundred and twenty GSM. seems to be a bit um, fluey at the moment, I've got a bit of a, a nose thing going on, you can probably hear it in my voice. about actually might add a bit of interest I'm just randomly sticking these down I'm not really thinking about it my hands and you just kind of rub your hands and it rolls off. <laughs> Let's rip the uh, 
straight edge off that. Yeah, so we've got this in our shop recently. It's mostly used at the moment by children for making slime. I thought I'd give it a go as a craft glue. I've seen a lot of American people, well, heard a lot of American people talk about Elmer's glue, you know. I thought, well, let's see how good it is for mixed media. Rather than using on that medium all the time, sometimes you just want something a bit cheaper. Especially for journaling, you're not necessarily going to want... I mean, if you're going to make a canvas that's going to hang on your wall, maybe stick to your matte medium. But for journaling, you're just doing it for fun, really, aren't you? There we go. That is making the page curl just a little bit, but... I'm not sure which of the colours I want to use. I'm not really drawn to any of them. Hmm. I don't think I have any ruby anyway. going to use trying to think outside of using acrylics maybe some ink tense pencils or something hmm do I want to gesso the page first knock that mat back a little bit Okay, I think I have an idea, so let me just go and get my supplies, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this. Oh, God. <laughs> just so I miss this old palette pad. I'm going to get some, try and get some pigment down on here. And then I'm going to grab some gesso. Here we go, just had to plug the camera in there. Sorry about that. Uh, so I've got. Uh, just get some water. Uh, where's that bottle gone? There it is. So I've got my ink tense pencil, some gesso, and some water. And I'm going to put my brush in some water. I don't know how hard this brush is. <laughs> right. We're going to... Activate that pencil 
that's a gesso and then we're going to add a little wash condition that brush it's not very good. Let's try this one. Oh no. I think this is gonna be a better colour. Try getting some on the page. Sorry, my feet are not good angle there. there we go. Is a nice subtle emerald green background. It's not even, but I don't want it to be. This is just how I wanted it to be. Interesting. Interesting is the word. <laughs> Just use up the last of the gesso. There we go. dry this off and I think the next step is some stamping so I finally found my stamp <laughs> that I bought and then lost it was where I thought it was but I wasn't looking properly you know why you do quick glance so it's not there it was <laughs> Okay, just keep stamping. Just 
get a bit of background going. a bit of something else going on there. Finally figured out roughly what I want to do, so that's good. terrible page filler. I'm going to try and experiment more a bit with some blank white space I think, but not today. <laughs> there we go, that's added a bit of interest. Maybe just a little bit at the top there. Yes, I like that. Now, um, let me just check what I want to do next. Okay, I think next I'm going to add my focal points. Um, I had some gel medium. Oh, okay, I had some out already. I was going to use that. Let's use this. I'm going to use these as my focal points. Let's just. going to paint them yet. I'm going to um, just need a little something something to put this down on. Um, yeah, because one of the next steps is to spray and Add some colour and stuff, so I'm going to do that over the uh, chipboards. The wind today, can you hear it? It's really getting, picking up. I've put that on the wrong side. How silly of me. that way. I'll give that a wipe in a minute. <laughs> Still don't know what I'm going to put on here as a journaling or quote or Have a look and see if I find something nice. I need to put a bit of weight on that in a minute to get it to stay down. Doesn't seem to wanna the page is curled you see so So I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> um, I got a board or something. Let's use this. Maybe even add a little bit more, just try and weight it down, and I'll be back once it's dry and we can move on. So that's dried now, she's all stuck down. Um, I'm going to add the spritz or spray. Uh, I've got this green, it's a homemade 
alcoholic with um made with the bits from the middle of the your um cheap felt pens. It doesn't spray very well. I think there's a bit of pressure in there. Let's try. It's a bit clogged. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to spray that stuff, does it? Try filling it up a bit more. Here we go. Dry that and then add another layer. Okay, so I'll grab that balloon leaf spray. I'll use a bit of that as well. It's a bit stronger colour. Some of that back in to turn it down. And then we'll dry that again. Okay, so the next step is to add threads or fibres. Doesn't like to start. No. Ugh. Okay, I have to dig out my big stapler. Hang on. Okay, my big stapler. Oh, this is going well. Okay. 
Probably should put these down before I sprayed, but there we go. These are some new stamps I bought. Uh, do crafts, I believe they are. And they come on this little carrier sheet and in a little pocket that you can put in your stamp folder if you've got one. Uh, I'm trying to be a bit more organised <coughs> with my stamps and those and things. Now, am I? No, I'm not going to try and squeeze the knee in there. I'm going to put it underneath. This is a black stays on. Scrabble tiles, which I've been waiting for the perfect project for. Oh gosh. I think these were in the front of a magazine, they were for some sort of card. Limited amount of letters to spell a certain thing. It might have been Father's Day or something. I don't know. It's been a while. It's had them for years actually. Before when he moved house, that was about five years ago. <laughs> now finally using them because I found them when I was looking for my stapler. So <laughs> there we go. Why not? There we go. Um, 
So about that, and I do think I just want to grab a something. Over distress ink and just just to finish it off. I don't usually use green in my craft. I don't know why, it's just not one of my favourite colours. So it's quite nice to do something a bit different. Okay. Um, just thinking. Why don't we date it? So today is the 17th. January 2019. Oh. It didn't come out very well. There we go, close enough. There we go. And that is the page done. And I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, please do join us for Mission Inspiration this year. Um, it's going to be interesting with the new prompt system. I've really enjoyed this actually because I've mixed it up. And done things in a way that makes sense to me. Which might make it a bit easier for me. I did struggle before sometimes doing prompts and certain orders but hey ho there we go. Uh, that is done and um, yeah so join us over on Mission Inspiration. I'll pop the link in the description. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Watch the rest of my videos you can watch last year's they're all on a playlist. Uh, thank you for joining me. Bye!